Despite receding water levels, the situation continues to remain grim in Srinagar. The worst floods that hit the valley has left behind a trail of devastation. The army is working on a war footing to rescue those still stranded. And the relief operation is in full swing with the Javans distributing water bottles, food packets and other essentials to the flood affected. आर्मी की तरफ से पूरी हेल्प है पहले तो रेस्क्यू करने में लोगों को यहाँ से निकालने में जिसमें हमारे साथ एनडीआरएफ भी एक साथ मिलकर के एक टीम में आप देख रहे हैं बोट्स काम कर रही है आर्मी की एनडीआरएफ की इसके अलावा जब यहाँ से निकालते हैं उनको रिलीफ देना मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट देना जिसको ज्यादा जरूरत है आगे हेलीकॉप्टर से हॉस्पिटल तक इवैक्यूएट करना है जो लोग श्रीनगर से बाहर से आए हैं बाहर जाना चाहते हैं उनको हेलीकॉप्टर और फिर एयरफोर्स के हवाई जहाज से बाहर निकाला जा रहा है The center has once again asserted that its main focus was on providing succor to people affected by the worst ever floods in the valley. Chahe paristhitiyan kitni bhi pratikul kyon na ho un sab ke bawajood logon tak rahat pahunchana rajya sarkar ke sahyog se hum logon ki zimmedari hai hum rajya sarkar sarkar ko central government ke dwara maximum assistance jo bhi demand ki ja rahi hai hum use pura kar rahe hain. More than 1 lakh 40,000 people have been rescued so far from the flood-ravaged parts of Jammu and Kashmir by the army and NDRF. Air Force has pressed 89 flights and choppers into service to carry out rescue operations. So far, 2 lakh 58,000 liters of water, 31,500 food packets, and over 533 ton cooked food have been airdropped and distributed in the flood-affected areas. Field hospitals have been established where medical aid is being provided to the ailing people. Till now more than 21000 patients have been treated in these hospitals. A fully equipped field hospital from Bhatinda is on its way to Srinagar while 19 tons medicines and other healthcare materials are being transported from Delhi to the flood affected areas. So far 1379 sorties have been undertaken by the helicopters and aircraft of the armed forces and 1799 tons of relief materials have been airdropped by the Indian Air Force a fourth contingent of naval marine commandos with rescue equipment and satellite phones arrived in Srinagar as part of relief measures 13 tons of water purifying tablets and six water filtration plants with a capacity to filter 1.2 lakh bottles per day is being provided by the government Suction and submersible pumps from Vishakhapatnam and Jodhpur are also being sent to flood affected areas. Equipment of the Department of Telecommunication, Army, BSNL and some of private companies are also being sent to restore the communication systems to meet the immediate energy requirement. 22000 liters of fuel from Ambala have been transported to the valley. to restore the road connectivity five task forces of border roads organization which include 5700 personnel have been pressed into service. Armed forces have also established 19 relief camps in Srinagar and Jammu region. In Srinagar region, camps were established at Bibi Kant, Avantipur, Old Airfield, Sambal, Chattargram, and Jija Mata Mandir, where thousands of rescued people are being sheltered. Getting its act together, the state government announced financial and other assistance to those hit by the disaster. Chief Minister Omar Abdullah announced 200 crore rupees assistance for Jammu region and the Kashmir Valley. and an ex gratia of 3.5 lakh rupees to the kin of those killed in the floods and financial assistance of 75000 rupees as initial installment for those who lost their homes was also announced by the state government free ration will be supplied to the affected for 6 months which include 50 kilos of rice and authorities have been asked not to insist on documents 6 mahine ka muft ration jo hai hum logon ko farham karenge taaki khane mein unko kisi tarah ki pareshani na ho Though flood water is receding slowly in Srinagar state authorities have now shifted their focus to tackling the worst the spread of water borne diseases with Sakal Bhatt from Srinagar and Sudhakar Das in Delhi DD News